and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Discard Deep. This was a deck we played against yesterday whenever we were playing a uh, traditional deep deck, and it was pretty interesting. And the person that was playing against us came in the chat afterwards um, talking about the deck. I, I did change two things from their list. They had Jettison, which... Um, we're going to be playing just Jury Rig instead of Jettison because we discard a whole bunch of stuff. I want some Jury Rigs in here. And they also had um, Pool Sharks. And I really want Pool Sharks. And we're going to be playing Twisted Fate instead of Pool Sharks. So, you know, that, those are the two changes that we're making. We're playing Twisted Fate and Jury Rig instead of Pool Shark and uh, Jettison. So I think we, we're going to be rifling through our deck pretty fast. Lure the Depths, getting us the card draw. But then same with Zonite Urchin, Rummage, Sump Dredger salvage we're you know doing all those to draw cards dredge dredgers does some tossing i don't think it will be too difficult for us to get deep with our deck here and then of course twisted fate drawing cards and if we can level up a twisted fate which you know we have our all those card draws to help us out then um you know then it will just also just help take over the game um, but yeah, Shipwreck Hoarder should be pretty awesome in this deck because, you know, like we, you toss two and you shuffle two treasures into the deck and sometimes you just don't ever find those treasures. But with our, all the card draw in our deck, we should be able to go find those treasures pretty easily. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and give this a try. And then yeah, with the help of Lure the Depths and then Nautilus, like we should be able to play like the our, um, especially like once you get like multiple Lure the Depths, we should be able to start playing our uh, Sea Monsters a lot cheaper. So that'll be good. All right. Um, tomorrow stream, I'm going to be doing an early stream again tomorrow. Like you know, like today, we're going to be doing the early stream instead of instead of late stream tomorrow. I guess I haven't really announced that anywhere, but I'm going to go do the early stream again tomorrow. Awesome uh, show, I guess. Show, welcome. First time on the stream, but liking the YouTube videos. Thank you. Thanks for coming on over, saying hi. Where's my high emote? My high emote's not there. Here, I can go with this one. Okay, Swain, Twisted Fate. I kind of just like this hand. I'm going to keep it. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Do we discard... Probably don't discard Twisted Fate, do we? Ooh. It's cheaper gotcha, but it's just not the best gotcha target. Yeah, love it. Double jury rig. We can discard those. I guess we play gotcha. No. Let's get to I'll save it. Never lost a fair game. One. With the Twisted Fate mirror, you want to be the person that plays the Twisted Fate second. It's like if I go Twisted Fate gold card, then they go Twisted Fate gold card. That's kind of bad. Deal me in. They go blue card. Interesting. Interesting. No respect for the Twisted Fate. Don't need to rummage yet. Don't need to rummage yet. Smiling. I'm always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. Now we can maybe work on leveling up this twisted fate. Feel me in. Nope. Guess not. Um. Oh, 
All right, we're both two Twisted Fates down. Where we're at, 28 cards. Dang. Or played one. Something for all. Better than eating. Danger pay. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Set the hooks. It's easier for Devourer to get rid of the Twisted Fate than get rid of the 3 3. All or nothing. Try to obliterate it. Hopefully. Yeah, I like seeing that Riptide Rex go. That was my salvage they stole with the Black Market Merchant. That was not their salvage. You can tell by the cost reduction. Come on. Yes, okay. So they are out of Twisted Fates. They still have, like, we've gotten rid of all three of their Twisted Fates. So they'll definitely have Swains. This is kind of like a, this is probably a Riptide Rex or a Leviathan turn. Against Leviathan, I kind of want to play this Abyssal Eye and attack with this. Get that card draw in. See, we're five away from deep. So we'll be deep next turn with the salvage. Against Riptide Rex, I don't want to play the Abyssal Eye. All right, I think I just play Nautilus. All right, that's the decision. We're just going to play Nautilus. These waters are mine. Artillery barrage! Question is, do I put the Swain back or put the Leviathan back? I probably put the Leviathan back, right? Steps would make those heat monsters cost zero mana. But I can't play because I, I really want to have Riptide available. Definitely thought about going Urchin, discard Jury Rig here. Come to me. But maybe I just discard Urchin and Jury Rig to the Rummage. Alright, bye bye Leviathan. Get in there, 1-1. One, one.
have to do my best to not die. To Riptide Rex. Or just other things that are like Riptide Rex. I became a soldier. Mm. I don't like seeing that. I want to draw more Riptide, so I want to put the Riptide back first, and now... Discard draw. I kind of want to... Maybe I'll just go the Urchin. This is actually kind of my best play. Oh, cool. There's Nautilus. I was going to say, we may need, like, that Riptide... And so we may we may actually have to like discard devour and gotcha depending on you know like what we have. Alright, so that's not killing anything and not doing any damage to me. Cool. Yeah, they, they needed a lot of things to go through the urchin. So I guess that was the problem with playing urchin. Well, first game in, I already like our deck. First game in, our deck's pretty sweet. Discard deep. The waters cannot be sated. Yeah, I, this definitely feels better than normal deep. Like, we're actually, like, doing a lot more stuff. Like, we're just one game in, but... You know, like, we're actually doing things. Twisted Fate's like our Ma Maokai. But it gives us so many options with gold card. Red card. ETC. Um, we're going to get rid of Rummage. I mean, this is, so this is a burn deck. Gotcha's good against the burn deck. It's just kind of expensive. Maybe I don't get rid of Rummage so that if we draw sea monsters, we start discarding the sea monsters and find cheaper things. This is me playing Dredgers on turn one and, like, not doing anything on two. Oh no, the jury rigs. No, we just got rid of two jury rigs. And around. We got rid of three one mana cards. We want to get rid of the sea monsters. It's not also put them back. Obviously, those are at the bottom of the deck, so like we're not drawing them anyway, but that's just kind of bad news that we're not drawing those. Dude, gotcha is so underrated. This card's great. Explosives primed. Gotcha. <gasps> This turn hurts. This turn hurts. Definitely considering rummaging away Salvage and Nautilus. Then I'd have two mana. Yeah, I think we need to look for a blocker. So Nautilus is definitely going Gotcha or Salvage? 
Probably salvage. Okay. Got the blocker. Got the other blocker. Let's go. Right, but the draw levels up Twisted Fate, even though Discard doesn't. The draw draw part does. Sets up red card, clearing up those two. I'm always up for a round or two. I think we're we're out of rummages. Um, one of them got tossed. We played one. We discarded the other. So as far as Jury Rig goes, we're out of rummages, but we could definitely find more Sump Dredgers and Zawnite Urchins. Could find more of those. It would be nice if Obliterate Fish obliterates the Grenadier so we don't take a point of damage. Your job, obliterate fish. Oh. That's all right. That's a get excited not going upstairs. That's great news. Now, surprise blocker. And now Obliterate Fish can Obliterate. Gotcha should kill basically everything they got. No, no, that was the worst thing to see. Oh, that hurts. Four damage there. Lady Luck is smiling. Hmm. Now they just need to draw five points of other burn. Okay, I'll take the lure of the depths. My card draw. I think that'll get it. All right. Let's go. Outplayed. No say well, as, as as far as I know it's enabled and I I have the I don't know what to do with it. I have the BTTV um thing on my Google Chrome. I installed that thing so I, as far as I know it's enabled. But I've never, never noticed enable. But I've I've tried enabling it from people asking about that before. So that was a good good win against the burn deck. Um, hand this time not as good. It's a little harder. I'm gonna mulligan twisted fate. It's a little harder to keep twisted fate when we don't have the early plays like we had the previous time. We gotta find those early plays. another aggressive deck. Cool. 
Like, say, well, I just see it, you, like, you just type out the letters. Monka S, that's what I just saw. I don't... They're not all enabled. Okay, I want to go Sump Dredger. I don't know if I want to discard Lure the Depths or Salvage. Probably Lure the Depths. It's, it's three mana just to draw a card. This is four mana, draw two. deck. Noxion fervors. At least we're not we're not just taking two damage each turn from that thing. So that's a plus. Nine damage in, put him down to nine. Fortune favors the bold. We'll see who beats. Open obliterate fish obliterates. That's still less damage that they are doing to me. Love ya. Then I guess we gotcha the Slippery Wave Rider afterwards. Yeah, I was gonna say, see if they... See if they spend their mana. I think this was just the safest thing. I'll just go to, instead of doing the gotcha right then. All right, that's a lot of cards. Was a fake gold card. Let's go. Fortune. We got a pretty sweet deck here. We're holding our own against the aggro decks. For the Empire. And we're still a deep deck that's, you know, pretty great against control deep with tons and tons of card draw. Oh, 
down to eight. Attack can put me down to seven. There's plenty of killing left. Okay, well, this game's not over. Got obliterate fish. Go try to obliterate that thing. All right, GGs. Three and O oh for discard deep. That slippery wave rider is a really underrated card. Five mana, four, four, elusive. Like, it's a big elusive. Pretty underrated card. Oh, we got the mirror match. But we got Twisted Fate, because I'm cool and put in Twisted Fate. Opponents, no Twisted Fate, because they not cool and didn't put in Twisted Fate. All right, well... We'll see what this hand can do. We'll have Lure of the Depths into, uh, you know, four mana Abyssal Eye. Yeah, like they're playing Pool Shark. I'd much rather have Twisted Fate than Pool Shark. Twisted Fate was great, has been great for us. Much better than a pool shark would be. A game. Go on then. Do I rummage away to block dredge dredgers? Maybe not. Anything else? <laughs> wow, discard jaw hunters? Oh, that's tempting. Why is it tempting? A crappy little one ones and one twos. It's just tempting because it's two mana. That's why it's tempting. But they'll have like their own abyssal eyes that I would much rather get rid of. been digging a lot faster than I have with double dredge dredgers. So I want to play Twisted Fate before drawing cards. Just kind of in general. I guess if I do, I guess I can't play Gotcha and Twisted Fate together. So I guess I'm just going straight to attacks. Like I don't want them to play their own Abyssal Eye. Like maybe I just play Jaw Hunters. No, let's just go to attacks. works. Sorry. 
Y'all want to go Twist of Fate Blue? Oh, Twist of Fate Blue would have gave me gotcha mana. Yeah, that would have been cool. Oh, okay. Well, they had double jettison. All right. Well, I'm kind of glad we didn't do that, because if I go Twist of Fate Blue, then I would have played this, and they would have played their thing. I would have gotcha'd it. It would have been a 6-6. Six, six. Then still would have killed my Abyssal Eye. I don't know. It's arguably better than having Devour the Depths. I don't know why I was focused on red. I was focused on red card with Twist of Fate. Yeah, blue would have worked. So now. Alright, so they're gonna just hit me with this Abyssal Eye. It's gonna happen. I think my best thing is to play the Shipwreck Order to block their 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, they did they did get deep a whole lot faster with the double dredge dredgers. And then the that double that double jettison was quite nice. We got the cards if I can stabilize. Nautilus gives me another, gives me a Riptide. Never lost a fair game. Play one. I'm a ways away from deep. I'm ten away. I'm not close. All the glitter. I wouldn't mind playing that matchup again. I would not mind playing that matchup again. Deck was stacked against us. I like because I liked my opening hand. I really did like my opening hand. I just feel like we didn't. I feel like they drew a lot better than us, like in the you know just like throughout the game. But I don't really regret my mulligan decisions at all. Does show the power of jettison. I'm playing Jury Rig instead of Jettison. You know, I'm playing Twisted Fate instead of Pool Shark, which I love that. I think that's a. I think that's just a, such a big upgrade. But. Hey, Mama Man. It's still a mirror match. Mirror matches can go either way. Yeah, that is a pretty high roll hand of the double, double one mana. The you know, double one drought with the toss three and double jettison and um and you know all the other stuff too you know like it wasn't it didn't yeah like that they had a good hand okay I want to try this double lure the depths I'm pretty interested in that Ugh. <laughs> Nautilus is actually our worst card to draw. And back to back Nautilus. It's okay, we could maybe find like Rummage or some Dredger or things like that and, and discard some Nautiluses. 
basically trying this out, this double lure of the depths out more for science than anything else. I want to see how it does. Like if it's too slow, you know, like that's you know, I wanted to try this out for science. Is it too slow? Alright, we'll go uh, Twisted Fate, red card. Yep. Yep, deck code's always on at Mobilitics. I'll take that. So my Twisted Fate traded with a Culling Strike and those two things. We'll take that. It's like getting Twisted Fate in as early as possible as far as leveling it up. So I can play that, I can play Lure. Next turn we can go Shipwreck Hoarder and Urchin. And I want to do this, I know I could just save the mana and just draw my card, but I want to do this right now because I don't, I don't necessarily really want to draw. A sea monster? Maybe I should want to draw a sea monster. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. The kill was a fate. I sure hope this works. Please don't have Elixir of Iron. Please have this work. Oh, come on. Oh, this is... This is a big problem. I'll cut them apart. You're mine. It's ridiculous. Thank Two you. mana, 9-4 Overwhelm Challenger. Silly. Uh, All right, that's good. Okay, so Twisted Fate is at um, five out of eight. Sure. I don't know if they're like trying to set up Reckoning maybe? They want me to play like something else and they're gonna go reckoning. I don't know. No, maybe their their maybe their hand is just bad, I guess. 
their hands is bad. Now this game's heating up. And it's just like harsh winds and stuff like that, like frostbite, some other frostbite cards. Um. They had Harsh Winds plus Reckoning. This is where we get into a lot of trouble if they also just have Reckoning. Because I can only... I can only do four damage to the Trapper with the red card. I think we still just win though, don't we? And then just Jaw Hunters plus Play Worm Egg just to win. Oh, are we not deep? Maybe we're not deep yet. No, we're not deep yet. Alright. Treasures are good. Treasures are good. Card draw is good. Um, I like this deck a whole lot. Like, you know, we only lost a mirror match. Or they just had a, a better hand. They So we just lost a mirror match. But um, I really like what Twisted Fate gives us. Gives us, like, that interaction and just, you know, slows the opponent down. They're, they're dealing with your Twisted Fate and stuff like that. And, and just against the aggro decks, like the red card, the gold card, uh, those were awesome. Um... Jury Rig was amazing for us, being, like, a really good blocker and things like that. Um, you know, it would be kind of nice to have Jettison in here also to get faster, I guess. I don't know if that's really even necessary. I really don't. Um, gotcha was amazing. That's also, like, the other... I guess that's another thing I changed. The other person didn't have Gotcha. They had, like, a couple Get excited, But I just, I just think Gotcha's so great. Um, and yeah, you know, like, it's it's okay to discard, to have, yeah, because I took out one Abyssal Eye and the two Gotchas. That's what I did to get the three, or the two Get Excited and one Abyssal Eye to get Gotchas in here. Um, yeah, definitely a super neat deck here. The deck looked good. We're going to play this deck some more. Maybe I'll play it on, like, maybe we'll play it on, I mean, Sunday's only in two days, but I kind of want to play it on Sunday, on Rank Up Sunday. Um, yeah, those of y'all watching on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know what you think. This deck seemed pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, we had a mirror match. We played against this deck, you know, like last night during deep is whenever I first saw it. But then today, either at least two, maybe three times today we played against this this deck. But they they were all playing like that other list. Um, I think the the person that we, that we played against yesterday that that sent me the list, they said it was a Reddit post that they found. So, um, I think it was from, it was somebody made a, a Reddit post about the deck. Um, that's where, that's where it came in. That's where it was from. Um, but yeah, this was, this was a definitely a good deck, fun one to play here. Uh, all right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. If you try out the discard deep yourself. Let me know how it goes for you, because it does seem pretty good. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Discard Deep. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.